change sides of the floor. Good hands by Beverly. They get the steal. Jackson for the lead again. And this time, the Clippers snatch the lead away. Change the game. The defense continues. Reggie Jackson started it. Looks like he wants to finish it. Missed an easy one. Jackson has it going in the third quarter. Got it! And one. Reggie Jackson. I love the resilience and the toughness, and it's all been triggered, or a lot of it has been triggered by this, Reggie Jackson's ability on the offensive end. Just touching the paint on multiple occasions, getting to his spots on the drive. Paul George kicks it cross court, Batum over to Jackson, one more, and that one drops. Great story of player development for the Utah Jazz and Dennis Lindsay. Guy that runs the show, Jackson, with a mid-range jump shot. It's four straight quarters where they've given up 30 or more points, mm. and they individually sent both Kawhi and Paul George at Donovan Mitchell in the first half, and he shot yeah. 8 for 10. And that was something Doc made the point of early in the year to us. They, Reggie Jackson. They get to decide the matchup. That one coming up short. Jackson throws it ahead into the front court. Nice little jumper, and Quinn Snyder calls timeout. They have this lead without Mike Conley, who has been absolutely brilliant all season when healthy for Quinn. Reggie Jackson taking out his do-it-yourself kit you, and knocks down the jump, jumper, another one. Have Reggie Jackson, who came out in this third period and has given them a much-needed lift trying to keep attached. He's going against size and a guy who's got the ability, nothing but competitor. Kawhi with a nice jab step and pull up. Wow, that was a clinic. Jackson with a layup at the other end. Jackson from deep. Got it. Wow. Angles against Kennard and rebounded by Morris. Clippers got to work quickly here, down by 10. And Jackson does it himself. Incredibly competitive, capable of that extra gear. We've seen it tonight. George with a late three. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to trust each other. Honestly, um, have to move the ball, move bodies. Go out here, be aggressive. Uh, make sure we show up here things defensively. It's going to probably be a little bit easier for us to communicate in our own arena but at the same time um we gotta be louder we gotta communicate more to eliminate confusion uh match up doesn't matter if you cross match just just match up and all um uh, shrink the court and then be ready to funnel out and protect the three-point line but we have to be um take some onus on the ball take some um take some pride and guarding one-on-one they were really attacking us early donovan jordan clarkson um those two are really trying to put us on our heels and be aggressive. And then they're doing a great job in pick and rolls, whether it be um, Bogdan, whether it be Ingles. Uh, everybody's playing. They're playing. They're getting the ball hopping. So we're going to have to communicate uh, tremendously, you know, over-communicate, show up some things. And offensively, we're just going to have to play free. Come out, play free, move the ball, attack them, attack the paint, uh, shoot your shots when you're open, and just have uh, faith, have trust in the work, go out here and play free. And then, you know, like I said, have faith and trust that we're going to get this game for you.